baby. I don't hear nobody just saying, do it, Cletus. I don't, baby. I don't hear nobody saying, just do it, Cletus. <laughs> Oops. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, this is a little bit more serious note. Um, now, he's think he's outside is going to wreak havoc this early in the morning. Let me let him know what time it is. Ooh, okay, anyway. Okay, let me do this real quick because I don't know how much of this is caught on it. But I need to. Uh, let y'all know that China is warning us of grave consequences, including nuclear war with Russia, if Ukraine is allowed to join NATO and more troops are stationed in Eastern Europe. All European countries will tremble under the shadow of possible nuclear war, Beijing warned in a Sunday editorial in the state-owned Global Times. In that case, there will be no security for anyone, not for Ukraine and not for the world, the newspaper wrote. President Zelensky has renewed his call to be let into the alliance as Russia announced a bid to annex the four regions in Ukraine. China warned the U.S. could face grave consequences, including a nuclear, including nuclear war, if Ukraine is allowed to join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is NATO, all European countries will tremble under the shadow of a possible nuclear war, Beijing warned Sunday. In that case, there will be no security for anyone, not for Ukraine and not for the world, the newspaper wrote. Instead of pursuing resolutions to end conflict, Washington has over and over displayed that the U.S. is charging toward the other direction, fanning the flames of war. Wow. I swear, boy, y'all y'all love it. President Zelensky has renewed his call to be let into the alliance as Russia announced a bid to annex four regions in the Ukraine. Asked about Zelensky's request to fast track Ukraine's NATO membership, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan last week now is not the right time and the application should be taken up at a different time. China called for the rest of the Western alliance to withdraw from Eastern Europe entirely. The recent threat comes from, I mean, in a string of fiery warnings from China, with others aimed at the U.S. support for, of Taiwan amid Beijing's encroachment on the territory. So we, you know, this this is just world war, and that's what it's going to be. Um, man's inability to live with himself. Just sick. People drunk with power. They can't live and let die. As Paul McCartney said, they can't do that. They got to control. So now they not getting their way. Now they threaten, like I said. It's like the baby with the bathwater. Now they want to bring in nuclear nightmare. Okay? Somebody wants to talk bringing in nuclear weapons because they can't have their way. China and Russia have sought to ally themselves as bulwark against the West. Last week, Congress passed a temporary funding measure that included another $12 billion for Ukraine, bringing the total to $66 billion. Biden previously supported Ukraine's NATO bids, but has backed down since the invasion. He did issue a warning to Russia uh, that if they were to try to mess with any border and NATO aligned countries, that they asked us was grass. America's fully prepared with our NATO 
allies to defend every single inch of NATO territory, every single inch. Vladimir Putin ignited new fears of nuclear war when he said he was not bluffing when he said Russia was prepared to use nuclear weapons to defend his territory. He also said that any country he wants to, that any country that wants to live by the rules of the United States are po political masochists. Hmm. He ain't lying. But I still can't rock with him. Announcing that he was annexing four Ukrainian regions, Putin said Russia would use all the power and all its means at, the, at its disposal to defend its new lands from attacks by the West or Ukraine and to help liberate the world. The Russian death, a despot speaking in front of his cronies in Moscow declared that the millions of people had opted to become vessels of Russia after staging sham referendums in which gun-toting troops went door to door with clear glass ballot boxes in order to force the people to vote. They are our people forever, he said to a standing ovation inside the Kremlin's uh, Georgian Hall before calling on Ukraine and its Western allies to abandon hopes of retaking them, repeating a threat to use all forces to defend the new territories. He said, the West wants to see Russia as a colony, an unfree society. <laughs> really? These are all the great bloodshedders. These are the great bloodshedders that the Bible and the Quran talked about. Them, these people, that's going to destroy humanity, that want to, at least that's their aim. So, um, the Russian president and Westerns have made the leap from issuing sanctions to conducting terrorists, terror attacks in a hostile speech delivered from the Kremlin. The West sabotaging Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines was an attempt to destroy the European energy infrastructure, he claimed. And then he added that those who profit from it have done it without naming a specific country. Zelensky Sky signed his application for the fast track membership to NATO. What you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in your comments below. Okay? I'm going to see y'all in the next video.